Another day of deliberations and jurors in the Bill Cosby sexual assault trial still have not made their decision. Those jurors will return tomorrow morning to continue their talks. I want to see supporter Greg Argos is live at the courthouse in Norristown, where we will soon be starting, Greg, a fifth day of deliberations. That's exactly right there, Jessica. You know, the jury, in fact, told the judge at 11 this morning they were deadlocked on all three counts. He sent them back to deliberations. That was 10 hours ago. Still no verdict. And so those deliberations continue tomorrow. Mr. Cosby, how are you feeling, sir? It seems like this song is on repeat. Another full day of deliberations, 40 hours and counting, and still no verdict. But a skip on this track, 11 a.m. Thursday morning, when the jury telling Judge Stephen O'Neill they're deadlocked on all three aggravated sexual assault charges. Bill Cosby spokesperson Andrew Wyatt appearing to signal that was a victory for the defense, but then backtracking. When the Golden State Warriors beat the Cavs, it was a win. A win is a win. I'm not calling a win. It's a deadlock. But Judge O'Neill telling the seven men and five women to continue working and do everything in their power short of violence to reach a verdict. The jury deliberating ever since, and that celebratory tone for the defense changed by 8 Thursday night. We're just hoping that the judge uh, would, if, he, if they don't have a verdict by now, he would release them and just say this thing is a deadlock. I don't think he speaks for the jury. Attorney Gloria Allred, who represented one of the witnesses, another Cosby accuser, obviously upset over Wyatt's comments. That's not how the system works. The jury can deliberate for however long they wish to deliberate. It shows they're doing what the judge told them to do. And with another day of deliberation set to begin Friday morning, attorney and analyst Dennis McAndrews says it's anyone's guess when this all will be over. They stay as long as the judge believes that the potential exists for them to reach a verdict. Now this long wait appearing to affect many of the key players. In fact, Brian McMonagle, who is Cosby's defense attorney, he normally makes a comment as he leaves the courthouse here at the end of the deliberations for this evening and for past evenings tonight. He simply went to the vehicle waiting for him and as it drove off, he had his head in his hands. Those jurors return here tomorrow, 9 a.m. to continue day five of deliberations more than 40 hours so far. We're live here at the Montgomery County Courthouse. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.